Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how we can create objects with the parent object already attached to it. So in our example, our relationship between a ball and a customer as a parent child relationship should be created directly from the customer profile and not from a form where we have to select the customer. So in our case, what I want to do is be able to go to a customer profile and hit place new order and be able to create the order with the customer information already pre-filled. So in this case, I want to be able to select an order, save it, and in the back end, this will save to this customer. So we're first going to do this, and then what I'm going to do is use something called Django inline form sets that allow us to create multiple orders in one form and not have to manually save each item. So if I select these four items and save, we're going to notice that four new items were added, and if we go to Peter's profile, here they are. So that's kind of a cool little feature. and. I, uh, I had a couple requests for this, so I figured um, it's going to be worth it to add it to this series. I wasn't going to do it originally, but there was enough demand for it, and I figured it'll help you guys. So let's go ahead and start this. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is actually just remove this button here. So if we open up our dashboard.html file, it's right above the orders table. So we can just take out that link, and let's save and refresh and make sure it's gone. Okay, perfect. So. Now what we can do is update our views and our urls.py file. So our URL is actually gonna look a lot like this update order URL. So currently we just have a, a solid URL and we don't pass any parameters. So what we're gonna do here is throw in a primary key. So instead of getting the ID of the order, we're gonna get the ID of the customer. And that's our name to the URL because we're gonna reference that in a second. And in our create order view, we're going to pass in the primary key of the customer. So we can only access this view and URL with an instance. So we're going to do customer is going to equal to customer dot objects dot get. And let me fix that. And now we can get the customer by the ID and pass in that primary key here. And I can link out to this page now from the customer uh, dashboard. So we'll open that up so we can see it. And instead of place order, we're gonna do create new order from that. So we'll just change this to place order. And I think I actually added it in earlier. So, oh, it already says place order. So it was originally delete order. I just must have updated that. So we'll just change the color really quick to some sort of blue. So it'll be the bootstrap blue. And now we can link out to it. So let's go ahead and pass in that new URL. So we're gonna use the the template tags here and we're going to do URL single quote create underscore order and we'll pass in the customer ID so customer dot ID and we're able to reference this because when we render out the customer template um, it's passed in right here so let's go ahead and refresh that and click that link so if we go to place order we get the original form where we still have to select a customer so the first thing we're going to do is set an instance so this form right here, because we've already selected a customer, what we're going to do is pass in an instance of the customer. And this is why we query the customer here. So now we can do initial is going to equal to, and we'll just pass in a dictionary. So we're going to set the value of the customer parameter. And for anybody that's not part of the series, I'll just pull up the models really quick. And the order has a reference to the customer attribute or the customer model. So right here, and sorry for those of you that have already seen this, it's a little repetitive, but just wanna make sure everything's covered. So the instance of the customer attribute is gonna be this customer here. So we'll throw that in. And now I should see that in my form. Perfect, so it's already Peter. So if I go to John Doe and place an order, the instance is gonna be John Doe. So now when I actually save this form, it'll actually hold those values so I no longer have to manually select a customer. So let's go ahead and place a few orders. So I'll just do barbecue grill and we'll set that status to pending and go back to John Doe's profile, place another order and this one we'll set to pending again and we'll do dishes. And now we're actually seeing items being added to John Doe's order uh, or profile directly from his page. So we're not having to select the information. So now let's actually create the inline form sets where we can place multiple orders from this customer's profile. So to get started with form sets, we actually need to make a quick import into our views.py file. So up here under HTTP response, I'm gonna do from Django.forms, 
import inline form set underscore factory. And what form sets are, are basically a way for us to create multiple forms within one form. So I'm gonna copy this and actually create the first instance. So in our create order view here, we're gonna do uh, order, this is gonna be our variable name. So order form set. So capital O, capital F and capital S. And that's gonna be equal to that import that we just made. And into inline form sets, we need to first give it the parent model and the child model. So it's gonna have the references from order to customer and we're gonna have multiple orders. So we need to tell it which fields do we wanna allow for the child objects. So I want to allow uh, product and status. So we're gonna do fields and that's gonna be equal to product and status. And now that we've created the instance of the form set, we actually need to create the actual form. So I'm gonna comment out form and call it form set now. So we're gonna do form set and that's gonna be equal to that initial setup. And in here, all I'm gonna do is pass in the instance of this customer. So now that we threw in the parent, we can actually reference that model. So we're gonna do instance and that's gonna be equal to customer. So now what I need to do is change up how we pass it into our template and then the name of the template. And that's gonna be not customer, but form set. And in our template here, order form, I'm gonna change that to form set. And let's go ahead and try that. Okay, perfect. So it's a little ugly now, but we're seeing multiple forms now. So I'll actually render these out in a different way. So I'm gonna do, um, it's actually a list right now. So I can do, let me just do that loop template tag. So for form in form set, and I'm just gonna render out each form individually. So I'll just change that to form and just go ahead and close this off. So we'll just do end four. And those should be styled. So I actually want to uh, create some kind of line break. We'll throw in the HR tag there. And there we go. So we're seeing uh, our initial products and three additional products with that. So if we actually go ahead and add these, I actually won't process this now. So I need to go ahead and change up how that request gets handled, but uh, we'll actually be able to add multiple products. So because of the way I'm doing this, it's actually gonna give us a little error here. So let me go ahead and just process that and I'll show you the error because a lot of people are having this. So we're gonna get form set and we're gonna throw this down here and we're gonna change that and change that to form set and also pass in the request.post. So we'll do request.post and if form set is valid, and it's actually this easy. So if form set is valid, go ahead and save it. So right now, if I save this, it's actually gonna give me an error and I just want you to be familiar, familiar with this. So if you see management form data is missing, it's because of the way we're rendering it so if we render this without the loop and just output the forms, it would work just fine. But because we're doing that, we need to add one more, one more little thing in that loop so it knows to save each form individually. And I'm just gonna copy and paste this. And in our loop, I'm gonna, we're just above our loop, I'm gonna say form set dot management form. And that just sends the data in a different way. So if I actually go ahead and re-go through this process, so add in barbecue grill and set that to pending and dishes and we'll do pending for that too and submit that, that should work fine. So those items were just added. So what I wanna do now is actually show you how we can change the amount of items that get displayed. So I first wanna take out the initial items. I don't want this to show up here. I want it only to be new and then how we can set how many tables get displayed. So, or how many uh, form options get displayed. So right here in our initial form set factory, I can do extra and then I can set the value. So if I wanted 10 different fields, I can do that and there we go. So we can have as many as we want. And in order to hide this right here, all I have to do is throw in something into this initial instance right here. So I'm gonna do query set and that's gonna be equal to order dot objects dot none and that's basically saying 
Uh, if we have objects there, don't reference them. Just let it all be new items. So order something went wrong here. Give me a second to figure this out. Oh, and I did object instead of object. So I always forget that. So now if we do that, we're not going to have that reference. So that item is obviously still in there, but we can go ahead and just add multiple items and save them. So that's how we're able to remove the instances. And uh, that covers it for this tutorial with creating objects with parent instances and form sets. Thanks for watching. And in the next video, we'll actually get to my Django filter series. Um, I was going to get to that with this video, but I thought this one would be more important to throw in before we get to that.